too much. Hallelujah. Multi-talented, multi-faceted, multi-dimensional. Who is there like you women? Who is there to be compared to us? Ah, ah, eh, no creation. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. All right, quickly. My work here is done. Praise the Lord from all the presentations, hallelujah, starting from Friday, our movie night, hallelujah, that was so powerful, 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 praise the Lord, thank you, we had popcorn for those of you who missed, don't miss, miss next time, praise God, we had popcorn, we had movie night, it was great, and we were blessed, amen, it was not just any our movie, it was a movie that touched and affected our lives that day and forever. Our lives are changed forever. Praise the Lord. And for all the presentations today, thank you, amazing women. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Hallelujah. Amen. And I believe that our lives will never remain the same again. This is not like every other women conference. Praise the Lord. As we started hearing from Friday. Hallelujah. But let this conference be a different conference. Let it be a turning point in our lives. Let's not take it lightly. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 
Let's press more into God. Let's press more into the things of the Spirit. Let's get more committed, more dedicated. Hallelujah. Let's be more loving, more caring. Hallelujah. More forgiving. Let's increase our intake of the word. Hallelujah. While I was waiting on the Lord for this meeting and he started ministering to me, the word came up in my spirit that the manifestation of God cannot be limited. God has no power problem. He's got no manifestation problem. If there is any challenge, it's usually from the human side. But he said, in order for us not to be limited, because his power cannot be limited, we should press for more. Because there is more in God. Tell somebody there is more. In God. Hallelujah. Deep, collect unto deep. You want the deep things of God. You want the fullness of God. You got to press in. Hallelujah. Your commitment, your prayer life, everything, you got to press into God. Hallelujah. You should want him. You should desire him. Praise the Lord. Restored in his fullness. Hallelujah. Let's look at Colossians chapter 1 verse 19. I'll just read two scriptures. We'll pray and we'll go. This, is, this message is for both men and women. So men, we are not uh, we are not overlooking you. You are welcome. We welcome you in this women convention. Hallelujah. We recognize you and we celebrate you. Hallelujah. Without you, we won't be here. Hallelujah. Without the men, we won't be here. And also the youth. Thank you for coming. Amen. What God says to one, he says to all. He says his restoration is not just to women alone. It's for all of us. Amen. God is the greatest restorer. Amen. And we are the biggest product of his, or production of his restoration. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Colossians chapter 1, verse 19 to 23. I will read from TPT version. Uh, before that, I will just quickly define that word, fullness. Like I said, I won't speak for long. I will just compress what I want to say. I will just define the word fullness. It is the sum total of God's essence. The sum total of God's essence. The fullness of God is the totality of everything God is. The pleroma of God. The totality of everything that God is. It is everything that makes God, God. Hallelujah. The fullness of God is everything that makes God, God. It is all his perfection, all his character, all his power, all his attributes, all of his holiness, all of his love, and many others. This just to name but a few. Hallelujah. And the Bible tells us that we have been restored to his fullness. Amen. We have been restored to all that God is. All of his perfection, all of his character, all of his power, all of his attributes, all of his holiness, all of his love, all that God is, we've been restored. So when we talk about restoration, that means something happened. There was a falling away or a falling off from the original intent or the original state. Hallelujah. And that was what happened in Adam. Sin came in and there was a fall because God created man in his fullness. God created man to enjoy his fullness. God created man to have all of this. But when sin came, there was an interruption. And that interruption needed a human sacrifice. Jesus had to come. Jesus had to die. Jesus had to pay the price. Jesus brought back all restored us back to the original state of God's fullness. Hallelujah. And now if we look at Colossians chapter 1, I'll read from verse 19 to uh, 22. It says, for God is satisfied to have all his fullness dwelling in Christ. God is satisfied to have all of his totality dwelling in Christ. All of his essence dwelling in Christ. 
all of God dwelling in Christ, all his perfection, his character, his power, his attribute, his holiness, his love, God is satisfied that all of that dwells in Christ. So if you want to see God, look at Christ. If you want to know the mind of God, all you just need to do is look at Christ because all of God is in Christ Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. And he said, and by, I'm reading from TPT translation. He says, and by the blood of his cross, everything in heaven and earth is brought back to himself. Hallelujah. Back to its original intent. His original intent is his fullness. And in Christ, everything has been brought. He said, restored to innocence again, even though you were once distant from him, living in the shadows of your evil thoughts and actions, he reconnected you back to himself. Tell somebody you are reconnected. Back to him. He said he released his supernatural peace to you through the sacrifice of his own body as the sin payment on your behalf so that you would dwell in his presence. That is the original intent. Dwell in his presence. Dwell in his fullness. For in his presence is what fullness of joy and at his right hand is what pleasures forevermore. So it is God's intent that you and I will dwell in his presence. You and I will stay in his fullness. Hallelujah. We just don't stay in his fullness but now because we are restored we do what we express hallelujah so my title simply this morning is to express his fullness that is why you have his fullness that is why you've been restored to do what express his fullness because when pressure comes up it is what is on the inside that will come outside praise the lord so we live our lives from the inside out so we express what is on the inside onto the outside. Hallelujah. We become more like Jesus from the inside, outside. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Now, if you look at Colossians chapter 2, verse 9, it says, For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily, talking about Jesus. So if you are looking for God, you don't need to do this and that. You don't need to look up and down. Just look at Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. It says, In him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost, all in one person. Hallelujah. We don't serve three gods. We serve one God with three different, different personalities working together for the redemption of man. Hallelujah. In, in the GW version, it says all of God lives in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Or lives in the body of Christ. In Amplified, it says for in him all the fullness of deity the Godhead dwells in him bodily from the... Uh, completely expressing the divine essence of God. Hallelujah. Jesus carried the fullness of God. Jesus expressed God. Jesus didn't come to do his own thing. So if we want to see our life and how we should walk, how we should manifest, how we should demonstrate the fullness of God, who do we look at? We look at Jesus, the standard. Women, we must keep our eyes on who? Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. And how did Jesus, uh, uh, um, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll read TPT, sorry. I told you I'll read two verses, but I'm reading it in different translations. He said, for he is the complete fullness. Still talking about Jesus. He is the complete fullness of deity living in human form. Hallelujah. He said, and our own completeness is now found in him. Your completeness, completeness is not found in a man. Your completeness, English, tongue, is not found in a job. And that is why we get frustrated. Your completeness is not found in any government. Not found in any nation. Not found in anybody so that you don't get frustrated hallelujah you don't get depressed 
When a man is not able to live up to your standard, when a woman is not able to live up to your standard, he says, for he is the complete fullness of deity living in human body and our own completeness is now found in him. Hallelujah. He said, we are completely filled with God as Christ's fullness overflows within us. God's fullness overflowed in Jesus. And that was why he could do what he did on earth. Now his fullness has come on the inside of us. The day you receive Jesus, he came with his fullness. He came as deity. In case somebody is telling you, I'm taking your name to our deity, you are going to die. Just like daddy was telling us last Sunday that they will threaten you, that they will kill you. Eh? Do they know who and what you carry? Do they know you carry the fullness of God? Do you know you carry the fullness of God? Because if you want to know who you are, look at Jesus. Hallelujah. If you want to know the mind of God, you, God said, look at Jesus. I put everything. Now, if you want to know who you are, you look at Jesus. He said, he, he carries the deity Body. There is no deity anywhere that can threaten you. No witch, no wizard anywhere. On the inside of you is the overflow of the fullness of God. Is the overflow of deity. You carry God the Father. You carry God the Son. You carry God the Holy Ghost. You carry His fullness. You carry His plenum. We are what can dare you? What is that sickness? What is that disease? What is that situation? It's time you begin to acknowledge. It's the time you begin to speak who you are, what you have, and what you can do. It's time you begin to open your mouth to begin to recognize, to begin to acknowledge the fullness of the Godhead that is in you in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm around, I'm stopping now. Actually, my first scripture I wanted to read, forgive me. But I cannot but touch it because they are all connected. Philemon, we call it Philemon, but other people call it Philemon. Chapter 1, verse 6. He said that the communication of thy faith may become effectual by the acknowledging of every good thing which is in you in Christ Jesus. The communication, the fellowship, the sharing of your faith as you go from day to day, as you interact with people, as situations and circumstances arises, it says the communication of your faith. What will make it effective when you start acknowledging every good thing that is in you in Christ Jesus? So there are good things in you that are in Christ Jesus. What will make the power to work is when you begin to acknowledge it. I carry the fullness of God. I have been restored to the fullness of God. I carry fullness. I carry God. I carry deity. I carry what makes God God. And that is why I cannot be killed. I carry the totality of God. I cannot be harassed. I cannot be oppressed. It cannot be done. That is who I am. That is what I acknowledge. That is what I know. That is what I recognize. I carry the fullness. I carry the fullness. I carry the fullness. That word acknowledge means to have precise knowledge. It means to have exact knowledge. That means you should know and it should be a walking knowledge. It's not head knowledge. It becomes heart knowledge. It, it, it now influences everything that you say, everything you think, everything you do. Acknowledge, admit, recognize it. 
Hallelujah. He said that is where your faith becomes effective. It's a prayer I'm praying for you today. That from today, uh, that the communication of your faith, uh, the sharing of your faith, uh, the fellowship of your faith uh, will begin to be, will begin to be effective, uh, effectual, uh, powerful uh, as you begin to speak the fullness of God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Amplified said, I pray that the sharing of your faith may become effective, uh, powerful, because of your accurate knowledge uh, of every good thing which is in you, in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. My last scripture. I have scriptures here, but I'm compressing it to a few minutes. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 13. I'm reading the Amplified. And thus, just beat here and there of Jesus because he is our standard. Amen. When he becomes your standard, you become the standard. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. His fullness is in you so that you will become the standard. Amen. You will become like him. That is why his fullness is in you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. That is why his fullness is in you to live his life. When he walked upon the earth, he was telling you, I am a prototype of who you are. Amen. Hallelujah. I am an example of the manner of man, of woman that you are coming to be. Hallelujah. You do not have any choice about it. <laughs> Praise the Lord. It's not optional. It's the life you live. It's how you live. It's how Jesus lived. Hallelujah. He says, I'm reading from Amplified. He said, the sun is the radiance and only express expression of the glory of our awesome God, Jesus. Yeah. While on earth, he is, this is how he brought out the fullness of God, by expressing the glory of God. He was the expression. But thank God he's not the only expression today. We are here today. Full of his presence. Uh, to express his glory. That our lives brings glory to him. Because everything Jesus did. He did to the glory of the father. When there were healings. Uh, when there were miracles. Uh, when there were signs and wonders. Uh, people jumped up and they started giving giving glory to the Father. So it was not about Jesus. It was about the Father getting the glory. Jesus was full of the glory of God. And when he operated, he manifested the glory. I declare to you today, by the reason of what you are hearing, by the reason of the knowledge of the word of God, you begin to declare, you begin to manifest, you begin to express the glory of God. In the name of Jesus. I'm rounding up. He said, God reflecting God's Shekinah glory, the light being the brilliant light of, of the divine and the exact representation and perfect imprint of the Father, this all of you. Hallelujah. You are representing Jesus. You are the light being. He said, you are the light of the world. The women kept saying, women arise and shine. Your light has come. Hallelujah. You have your light to shine. Don't allow anything to dim your light. Don't allow any situation to dim your light. Don't allow any report to dim your light. You are a light being. You are a light carrier. You emit light. That is what is in you in fullness. So when darkness tries to raise its head, what are you supposed to do? You rise up like the light that you are. And you swallow up that darkness. He said the light shines in darkness. The light shines in darkness. Our women will shine in darkness. Amazing women will shine in darkness. The youth in this house will shine in darkness. He said the light shines. 
and darkness cannot even understand it. He said, darkness cannot comprehend it. Darkness is confused. You are not the one to be confused. Darkness should be confused. When he sees you, he should say, hey, I am done. Arise, shine your shine. Tell somebody, shine your shine. You've got your shine. I've got my shine. I won't allow any darkness to dim my shine, to stop my shine, to block my shine, to obscure my shine. I will shine my shine. Come on, I will shine my shine. You will, shine your shine. you will shine your shine. You've got something on the inside of you. You've got the purpose of God on the inside of you. God did not create you without a purpose. God does not create anything without a purpose or without an intent. Even if he created in Christ, uh, there is a restoration uh, to the original intent. Uh, the purpose of God is in your life. Uh, the gifts and the call is there in your life. Uh, everything God has ordained before the foundation of this world for your shining day and day. It is time to rise up and let your light shine forth. Hallelujah. Rise up to your feet. Rise up to your feet. Rise up to your feet. Hallelujah. We carry his fullness to shine. You carry his fullness to shine. You've been restored to his fullness. Not to sit down and wallow in pain, wallow in bitterness, wallow in anger, wallow in, in misery, wallow in frustration. It's time to begin to acknowledge. That word acknowledge means to know. It's time to begin to know the exact thing, every good thing that is in you. Because in you is the fullness of power. In you is the fullness of glory. In you is the fullness of authority. In you is the fullness of the blessing. In you is the fullness of kindness. In you is the fullness of life and light. It is time that you will allow that fullness to begin to be expressed. It is time to express. You see a, 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 a toothpaste tube, when pressure comes on it, what happens? Toothpaste comes out of it, right? And that toothpaste has got a purpose, right? What if when you apply pressure on it, liquid dishwasher comes out of it? Will you be happy? So you are just like, like, not you are not, like that toothpaste tube. When, the, when pressure comes, what should come out of you? The fullness of Christ. Exactly the same thing Jesus did. He expressed. So moving forward, you carry fullness. You must know it. You must admit it. You must acknowledge, I carry the fullness of God. Whatever pressure comes, they will only receive the fullness of life. Lift up your hands this morning. Let's just give him praise. Father, we thank you for your word that we've had this morning. We thank you for we've been restored to your fullness. We thank you for your light is mighty on the inside of us. Your life is mighty on the inside of us. We give you all the glory that as we begin to acknowledge these things, acknowledge your fullness, that our faith will become effective, effectual, and powerful in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now, in case you are here this morning, you've not received Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. I would like to pray with you. What is the time? Your life. Because in him dwells the fullness of God. This fullness we are talking about. If you've not made Jesus the Lord of your life, you can never have it. You can never have this fullness. I'd like to pray with you. All heads bowed.
every eyes closed. You want to say, Lord Jesus, I want to receive your fullness. Receiving your fullness is receiving you. Therefore, I want to receive you as my Lord and my Savior. Lift up your hand quickly and I'll pray for you. Thank you for that hand. You want to receive Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. All right. Say this after me, dear. Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus. I've heard your word this morning that all of your fullness is in Christ Jesus. And I have been restored in your fullness in Christ Jesus. Therefore, I believe in my heart that Jesus died for me. I say with my mouth that Jesus is my Lord and my Savior. Lord Jesus, I receive you into my heart. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for forgiving my sin. And thank you for loving me. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together.